What's up, you guys? It's your girl Magali back with another cute ass Valentine's Day dozen. So these berries are already washed and I'm drying them right now, you guys. And make sure when you're drying these berries that you are going hard with the drying because you do not want any water in your chocolate, okay? So I do be a little rough with my berries because I want to make sure they're on like, you know, like, what is it called? Like more, you know what I mean, okay? We don't want it to be mushy, okay? We do not need no mushy ass berries. So I want to make sure that they're 110% okay. So that's the wash that I use for them and I get it from Trader Joe's and it's also linked in my Amazon storefront. So for today's berries, we're gonna be using Ghirardelli mixed with a little bit of almond bark because everybody on my TikTok is always asking me to try this. So I'm gonna have to try it on this video, but I will be making another chocolate review, review video for my TikTok. If you know, you know, if you follow me on TikTok, then you know I be doing them chocolate reviews, okay? But anyways, you guys, this combo is wow. I love it. The chocolate is like super smooth. And you guys know how Ghirardelli always leaves the berry super shiny. Yeah, it's giving glossy as fuck you know what i mean i absolutely love how the this chocolate came out and i don't know like i might use this from now on you guys just look at this smoothness like i'm really loving this chocolate it's so cute i mean not cute but you know what i mean it's like smooth as fuck <laughs> so i don't know why for valentine's day i am feeling the purple and red vibes you guys so we're gonna be doing this whole dozen in purple and i decided to use a chef master violet because i don't know like i really like this purple i think it always comes out super nice and like it's just cute i love it and i'm literally dipping every single one of these berries in the purple chocolate we are not using any other chocolate until we drizzle okay we're gonna be dipping everything in purple we're making it easy because this is actually gonna be my valentine's day set for this year you guys and i'm trying to keep everything cute and simple so all purple it is also you guys this mix of Ghirardelli and almond chalk and almond chocolate what am i talking about i'm talking about almond bark okay okay anyways the mix is oh my god i'm gonna damn near give this a 10 out of 10 y'all i am feeling the consistency the taste is bomb and mixing it with the color is still nice as fuck like I like this chocolate, you guys. You guys have to try it and let me know if you guys do. A question that I'm always getting is what bags do I use to drizzle? And you guys, I just use a sandwich bag. You do not need none of that fancy ass piping bags, okay? You can just get some sandwich bags and it'll work. But for the first four berries, we're just going to be drizzling on them. We're going to keep it cute and keep it simple. And we're just going to be doing um, purple on purple drizzle. And yeah, I mean, you cannot take an L with these. They're just so cute no matter what the heck you do. Oh my God, you guys, look, am I very bled a little bit? But you know what? That just means that boy juicy as fuck, okay? You guys, here's a little tip from drizzling from ya girl. Make sure you guys are keeping the same pressure the whole time or else your lines are going to come out a little wonky. So I ended up finding these cute ass sprinkles at Walmart and I love the color of this mix. I am completely obsessed. So we're going to end up doing some waterfall sprinkles and I love this design. Shout out to Chelly Berries for coming up with it because it is too cute. So also this design is one of my go-tos for holidays because I can make it super fast. But the only way this design will work is when your berry is wet. So make sure as soon as you're done dipping it, you have your sprinkles ready to go because you're going to need them to do this design. You guys, look how perfect these sprinkles match my freaking berry. Like they have red, pink, purple, like, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. I've also gotten a couple comments of where I get my sprinkle spoon from and I'll go ahead and leave their Instagram down below. It's Sweet Tooth Buffets. They're the ones that have sent me some of these sprinkle spoons and they're so cute. They actually sent me this one and another one with a topper that was a little donut, but I'm so sad because it broke. 
but I'm still obsessed. Okay, they're so cute and I love them. At first I was like, what do I need this little tiny spoon for? But you know what? Your girl loves them. I'm not even gonna lie. When making these waterfall berries, make sure that you guys are focusing the sprinkles at the very top and let the other sprinkles kind of like fall down. Do not like, you know, go ahead and force the ombre. Just let it happen, you guys. Just try to focus the sprinkles as much as you can at the very top. And usually the rest of them fall down perfectly. And sometimes I'll go over the bottom because I'm a little extra yard, you know me. But let me know what you guys think about these. I love them. They're some of my favorite berry designs. For the last four berries, you know this would not be a Magali Sweets dozen if I didn't splash gold on them. Okay? I love splashing freaking gold on everything. I also like to splash a little bit of silver and a little bit of rose gold, but nothing compares to gold, you guys. It's just like 10 out of 10 chef's kiss. But anyways, this gold is from Lavender's Bake Shop and I also mix it with their rose water and it just comes out perfect. It's a perfect consistency and I just love the color. Like it's so pigmented. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, okay? And also make sure you guys do this little tapping motion. Do not splash them, okay? So I'm going to be using some Meltem's red chocolate to drizzle. And I really like the consistency this comes out. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it ended up melting together and it was just like this big old block. So anyways, it's okay. It's totally fine. I just went ahead and melted it. And I'm going to be using it for the little loop-de-loop -loop thing that I'm going to be making. And I decided to use the Meltem's red chocolate because if you've ever used colored um, like Meltem's, the chocolate comes out really thick. And that's kind of like the consistency that I wanted for the drizzling because it's kind of like an easier control. And this is my absolute favorite number one design on freaking strawberries is this little loop. And of course, for Valentine's Day, I decided to start it off with the heart. But this is my favorite favorite design if you follow me on tiktok then you guys know that this is my design y'all this is magali's sweet signature design and i am not playing let me know what you guys think about this purple and red i love it i'm in love with this vibe i don't know what it is but my brother said that this was not cute let me know what you guys think down below because i'm obsessed but i don't know now i don't know so I'm a little bummed out because I ended up running out of my red boxes. So I had to use these white ones I ended up ordering off of Amazon. And you guys, these boxes are great quality. I'm going to link them down in my description. Oh my god, I definitely recommend these boxes. Before I forget to mention, actually everything is going to be linked down in my description. So don't forget to check that out. I will be linking everything I used to make in this video. And yeah. So when I'm putting these in the box, I always have like a little pattern. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I do these for all of my boxes. This is the same exact pattern I do for all my boxes. And instead of my crinkle paper, I decided to use some mini marshmallows because I don't know. I decided to use some mini marshmallows because they look cute. Plus the only crinkle paper I have right now is brown and brown would have definitely ruined my vibe for this box. So I also will be using these cute ass little heart sprinkles for only two of my berries which are going to be the ones on the edges in the middle row because those two in the middle will have a sign on top of them so you won't be able to see them. But I do stock, stock up on these Valentine's Day sprinkles because girl I use them all year and they're just perfect. Look at the size like right in the middle of the berry. Super cute. So yeah, you guys, let me know if you guys end up recreating this set. I absolutely love how it came out and I am obsessed with this color combo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is out. I will be back with some more Valentine's Day content. So make sure to subscribe. Bye!